Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Shadow Joe, back at it again with another YouTube video. And today, I'm going to be talking about my wish list for NBA 2K17. Now before we hop into these things, I just want to let you guys know that my blue snowball for some reason isn't working correctly, so I'm using my like headset mic, so sorry if the audio quality is a little below standard. I have a lot of topics today, so I'm going to try to go through them as quickly as possible, but starting with how to fix NBA 2K17 mine team, you have to fix the auction house, okay? First off, make it live, okay? Don't do the 15 minute intervals for when things, make everything happen, like people can just be spamming refresh like they have in Madden, okay? Change the, allow us to search for our attribute upgrades, like don't let us just have to like randomly go into shoes and then have to be like, hoping we find the one that we're looking for. Let us be able to like type in, the same way we type in players, allow us to be able to type in the names of the shoes, the attribute upgrades so that we can get them. And a second thing is, change the shoes so that they can be available for all players. Like in 2K15, when it wasn't shoes, it was just attribute upgrades, and make it like that. That way you can have players that get upgrades that we can give our players the upgrades we want to give them. Don't force players to be restricted to the type of shoes they wear because players like Clay Thompson, for example, who were with a lesser known shoe brand, didn't have the option to get the wide variety of upgrades Nike, Jordan players had access to. So please change that for us. Also, there's this thing that whenever you filter, like on the third tab in the auction house, when you would filter shoes, Whenever I put on like settings, like if I wanted like gold Jordan shoes, first of all, the settings didn't even work. I would still get shoes that didn't fall into the categories that I put. But when I would back out to refresh, I'd have to reset it. So work on that, fix that, try and stop that from happening. And also when we're in collections, when you search on a player, I want to see that version of that player. Not all of the cards a player has, I just want to see that particular version because it could lead to a circumstance where I'm just trying to refresh, and if I see a card pop up, but it's not the actual right player, it could just cause a lot of confusion. So if you guys could look into making sure that when you go into the collection and you click that like search for player tab option, make sure that it doesn't affect the other cards that that player has. Like make it just show that card. All right, speaking of the team franchises, make coaches valuable. Okay, you never, ever, ever hear an NBA 2K player care about their coach. Okay, because coaches don't mean anything. They call plays. Most of the time, guys either don't run plays at all, or they run the same plays, so there's no need for a coach to automatically be dictating plays for them. So, make our coaches have some sort of purpose. Like, allow them to give us attribute upgrades, or maybe they, like, unlock, like, a special feature, or maybe they just, like give everyone a certain tendency so that they perform better in game figure out a way to implement coaches because coaches in the actual nba are a big deal they have a big impact on the game so make sure that they can impact the game in nba 2k my team next we need custom playbooks okay you guys gave us custom arenas you guys gave us custom courts custom jerseys give us custom playbooks allow us to take plays that we want and put them into a playbook i understand that this might be a little cheese so maybe figure out a way that you can only like put in a certain amount of plays in that certain playbook but allow us to have certain playbooks speaking of custom arenas and custom and custom courts custom jerseys allow like put a restriction on the types of home and away jerseys that way like make sure that all home teams have to have like a lighter shade and all away teams have to have a darker shade i hate when you run into my team and you see teams with similar color jerseys it's just distracting for everyone involved it doesn't enhance gameplay and it's really distracting so make it so that when you're making your jersey, it has to be a certain shade or just a certain variant of colors like lighter colors and darker colors so that there's no confusion when it comes to online play. Also, when it comes to collecting cards, don't let us only be able to have one version of a card in our collection. Like, allow us to have multiple versions. Don't do, like, the, like, flipbook collection type thing. Have it so that we can have as many versions of a card as we want, and just set, like, a cap on how many cards we can have at one time. And now on to game modes. First off, get rid of Gauntlet. Okay, Gauntlet was glitchy. 
it wasn't it wasn't real okay it was just kind of like eh. it was it was it wasn't fun okay you what you guys need to make sure you have in this game if this isn't in your game you guys are taking major steps backward you need to make sure that there's some form of draft like draft champions like they have in Madden that needs to be an NBA 2k17 because we need it okay it's a way for everyone to try cards that they might not be able to try and for everyone to play with players they might not be able to play now when it comes to domination you guys need to tweak what it takes to win domination I'm tired this has happened to me I've played domination on both PS4 and Xbox one there have been instances where I would beat a team by 20 30 points but I wouldn't qualify like I wouldn't get all three stars because I didn't shoot 10 free throws or because I didn't shoot five threes. Don't limit us to one style of play. Like, in domination, it's key. Everyone knows, oh, you need players who can post fade. Oh, you need to make sure you get assists. Don't limit the way we play basketball to win domination. Allow us to play however we want to play, but maybe give us, like, a challenge. Like, oh, we have to do this and then win. Not that, oh, we have to shoot 10 free throws, we have to shoot 5 threes, make a good percentage of them, we have to play fat. Like, don't limit the way we play basketball. Also, while you're at it, if you guys could add, like, a third stage of domination, like, you guys have, you have regular current NBA teams, then you have historic teams, what if you guys did all-time NBA teams? That would be lit in domination. And also, beef up the rewards, okay? Nobody used those cards. Nobody used Jason Cade, nobody used Scottie Pippen, they just sat on the back of rosters. So give us cards that will actually have some longevity in the game. Next, challenges. Okay? The only updated challenge that you guys put in the game was the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar one, and that was for a card that you replaced with a 99 overall version within a month. So make sure that you guys give us challenges that we can play throughout the entire year. Update challenges weekly. Okay, and if you're going to do something like the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar challenge, no one would have been upset if you guys would have released all those challenges at the beginning of the game, let us beat them, and then waited 9 months before dropping the 99 overall. But when you do stuff like that, it makes my team look like a play-to-win game. Which brings me to my next point. Make MT available and easy to get. The only way you can get MT is by playing Gauntlet, which I already told you was a glitchy game, by playing Road to the Playoffs, and you get 600 MT, let's say you're all out of contracts, you're going to lose that money back when you have to buy new contracts, and by playing Domination. Okay, give us actual challenges. I saw, I saw a concept floating around in the 2K community on Twitter. I'll link the artist down below. But there was, like, you could do, like, if you scored 37 points, you could get, like, a Clay Thompson. If you, like, in a quarter, if you scored 81 points in a game with one player, you could get Kobe Bryant. Things like that, where we could get players, sell them, or just make MT, that adds longevity to the game, and it makes the game longer, to, it makes the game longer, and it makes the game more fun to play. And actually give us an opportunity to try out players you know maybe give us like trial players that we can like like you guys are implementing that kind of with the free agent players which is kind of bogus to give us free agent players that we're reporting the game for but maybe if you guys gave us free agent players every week maybe like a new player or just like someone that not everyone might not be able to get their hands on but if you gave these players out just to try maybe in freestyle we could get a feel for them and determine whether or not we want them or if we should go out for them. Just give us little things. Next, add leaderboards. Everyone's been begging for leaderboards. Let us see how we're doing, our win and loss ratio. Let us see, like, how, like, all that stuff. And add player stats. I think this would be really dope. If you took player stats and you took, like, a card, and you could, like, see how well they've performed for your team. Like, you could go into a setting and see, like, oh, I have Russell Westbrook, and he's played 23 games for me, and he has scored, I don't know, um, let's just say he scored 112 points in those 20, like, things like that. Like, let us just see stats. Like, stuff like that is cool. You know, maybe, like, people could try to fight to see who has scored the most points with a player, who has scored the most points, like, who has blocked the most shots with the player, just stuff like that adds, like, little, it's little small things that make the game more enjoyable, and it adds, like, a layer of competition. 
Now, you have to change the fact that this game is pay to win. Okay? That's obvious. Anyone can see it. You know, all the top guys on YouTube who have diamond all star all star teams, they paid for their teams. Okay? They put a lot, a lot of money. And sure, people who put money into the game are gonna have an advantage, but don't make it like don't make it leaps and bounds. Don't make it that big of a difference to that the people who aren't putting any money, so that the people who's only even shot at coming close to having a diamond team is by sniping, which isn't even a part of the game. We're playing NBA 2K17, not my auction house. So please fix that so that we can all have, I guess, more of an equal shot at winning the game. Now, another thing you guys need to change is the collection rewards, okay? For completing a set, complete for collecting all of the players on a team, you guys gave us basketballs. Basketballs that might I add, I have actually never seen a team ball in use. And that's just that's just me. I've played a lot of games, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, I've never seen anyone use one of those team balls. Okay? NBA 2K15, you guys gave us MT, and then you switched that to Sapphire players. Both of those were better than collection balls. That was just I don't I don't know who said we should give everyone basketballs for collecting an entire team, but please change that. Give us players, give us MT, something, just Anything but collection balls. And change the collector levels. Nobody used any of those players. Because by the time people got up there, they were worthless. And the only card people wanted was Jordan. And like, 10 people that, at least that I know of, got their hands on him. So, change the collector levels. Maybe make the rewards more rewarding. And change the player tiers. But do something to make the collection rewards more consider it next can you guys please put charles barkley and reggie miller in nba 2k17 my team like i know barkley is going to be in play now but can you guys please put him in my team those are my suggestions for how we can fix how 2k can fix nba 2k17 i'm not really sure if anyone's going to see this or if anyone's going to hear about this but if you do and if you like any of my suggestions Please like this, share this video so that it can get out. Comment down below if you feel like there's anything that I missed. And um, yeah, I'll be dropping some Madden 17 tomorrow, so I hope you guys are hyped for that. And uh, speaking of Madden, hey, um, notice how Madden was still releasing content after NBA 2K quit, even though Madden comes out a month before 2K does? Okay? That's all, hey, that's all I'm saying. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy Shadow Joe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.